with uh, SUU Esports. Hello, chat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. today. from day.
gonna go, you know, do stuff, I guess. Yo, I'm on stream, boys. All right, gotta go. Bye. Can you hear me better now? Or is that too loud? And there's the jab jab power dunk for the kill. Not gonna get the combo there. Not but Oh, try Oh no! Coiler air dodge SDing. No, that's no good. It's gonna get punished for that. For trying to punish the power dunk by a power dunk. That's just the way it is sometimes, you know? Not, isn't able to get the forward air confirm off of the grab. Oh, gets caught by the Buster Wolf. Not gonna die from across stage, but that's gonna hurt. Help Blade getting the up, lingering up B on Coiler. This is anybody's game. The, and the dash attack ledge trap.
trap it takes game one. Coiler not too ha they're not too happy about the having to face the si dark Samus. Game two, are we gonna see more of the Palpa Darks? Is he ab about to go K Rule? Palpably just styling on stream, but Coiler going for his Joker counter pick. Hmm. I mean. Joker definitely has more anti-zoning capabilities than Terry, so I can understand the pick. We'll see how it works out, though. Arsene is here and ready to cut wreck some havoc. Trying to get the back in, or... Oh, that was a really weird one. You can get both the normal and the Meteor Smash hitbox with Jokers down B. Down B. That was a really unusual case. Isn't quite dead. Health Blade seemed to be trying and narrowly dodging to avoid the hit. Of course. Oh. Missed the tether, missed the stage, and he lost his stock for it. Nice, get off, and goes for the deep back air for to even out the stocks. That's how you joke, edge guard is joker. Yeah, making good use of the armor there to swat him away. Oh, gets the gets the back air up air the 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 K rule special. Gets thrown off stage and the Arsen is gone. Gemps him with the still gets back, but that's gonna hurt. Especially since. Joker without our sin can have some serious difficulties skilling. And gets thrown off stage with the the back air. Just going for a fair and gets a nice ledge tra trap with the back air. And he SD's going for the deep edge guard. Unfortunate. And that is the game game and match. What is up, chat? It's cool.
Foiler back on the mic since DDRM is playing. And, you know, I'm bad. Let's let's get these care these players loaded up. Is this round two? Cool. Uh. All right, we got a wolf versus nest matchup here. Oh, no, sorry. Excuse me. We got a nest versus young link matchup. Interesting. Matchup may be more even than Wolf, but it's still not fun. Let's see how the, both these players adapt. Oh, I gotta reset the score. Alright. Very good patience. Gets the dash attack. Jichu gets the, uh, gets the boomerang, but I guess he missed his jump input and got the F tilt instead. Ooh. Oh! That that yo-yo at ledge can be so terrifying. Sometimes you don't know what to do about it. Still hate to see it happen. Oh, beautiful air dodge to get back to stage. Catch the neutral get up with the freaking catch the neutral P fire to the down air. G2 is down two stocks. Still winnable, but Young Link is not a character known for making these comebacks. He lacks that kill power at early percents. Or he is getting these juggles really nicely. Oh, goes for the grab, it gets rolled behind. Ooh, tries to get the boomerang into the up air, but misses. G2 looking lost right now. Oh, and the yo-yo with the buffered air dodge. Game one goes to DDRM. Alright, sticking with the Ness, are we going to see any character changes? Not yet. Jiju, good friend of mine, has been talking about how he needs to pick up a secondary, but I guess it's not quite ready yet. Alright, we're going to Yoshi's Story, who just respects the PK Thunder. Goes for the bomb. Both players playing this extremely slow, which is quite different than how these characters normally play, I would imagine. Goes for the... I don't know if that... Air was a miss input if he takes a good amount of damage for it. Ooh, good patience from DDRM. Waits and just gets that PK fire off the get up option. Ooh, good down air bounce, gets away. Wall jump. Oh, and miss spaces the down smash. Very fortunate for Dichu. Right, fourth row to get positioning. PK Thunder edge guard. And that just puts you in so much hit stun that you can get an up air straight out of it. Here I'm just throwing out these aerials. As you do as a mess. Alright. The tether gets around the PK Thunder. Gets the up air. Looking for this juggle, but DRM smart player ret retreating. Oh, gets the arrow to the fair. And that'll do it. Alright, up B. Up there. Fair. Gichu's bringing back this percent. Oh, but that bomb. Doesn't matter, it puts G2, puts Gator M in lag. Ooh, 
Ooh, the arrow? Oh, waits for the air dodge, but gets this the wrong side. Oh, and the yo-yo! Such a difficult option to get around if you don't have to deal with it. Oh, but the arrow to the up air. This is looking much better than game one. Does he get the takes the PK fire? Oh, it rolls through, but has the other side the yo-yo catch it. And the yo-yo takes the stock, not yet? Oh, but I don't know if you can make it. Ah, it's, yeah, that's a game. Unfortunate. But we still got a really clean nest player here at SEU. What is up, two viewers in chat? How are you guys doing as we wait for the next game to be set up on stream? Hopefully it's me and I can, you know, not suck, but we'll have to see about that. Viewer hype. Let's go announcer. Thank you, Troy C. N. I really appreciate you. My name is Coiler. Ooh, we got Palpa Blade and Mike. Palpa Blade, the 15-year-old prodigy from St. George. And we got Mike, the fan favorite. Even though he, you know, it's not as good. But never count him out. We can always believe. Top of Blade, as you know, um, well, you probably didn't because you weren't here, but he is the one that took me out round one. He's an excellent player. We haven't seen him for a few couple weeks, but we're glad to have him back. We'll have to see what character he tries to style on Mike with this time. Oh, yeah, let me change the, the thing. Uh, reset score. Top of Blade. Bayonetta, when did Mike go Bayonetta? Alright, starting off with the gentleman's the small battlefield. Very classic stuff. Jigglypuff, we're seeing the Jigglypuff come out for... Palpy. Alright, let's see how this matchup goes. Jigglypuff very light character, very floaty. If you have good aerials, which he only has decent ones, very easy to catch her in the air, but we'll have to see if Mike can keep up in this matchup. You can see up air. Oh! Oh! Went for the sing, but the boomerang saves him. Oh no! Oh shoot! So many whiffs from both characters! Is that a Jig? Not quite. And the freaking rollout to recover. Oh. Everyone taking a nap here. I agree, Droy C. And then. Alright. Got a good F tilt for positioning from Mike. You can catch this Jigs in the air. On the ledge. Mike keeping his distance. Ooh, good roll away. All right. Good Zare to recover. Oh, the roll get up gets past that forward smash and the Nair to take this dock. All right. What are we gonna see next? 
F smash. Very good. All right. And just like that, this game is back to even. But then again, Jix is that scary character. If she gets you with the sing, that was a vicious press if I do say so myself. If it hit, I would have been very impressed, but. Okay. Puffin Blade is quite out of this. Well, let me rephrase that. It's quite down, but not quite out. Jigs is a character that can make these comebacks if she gets those rest confirms. But I don't know about these things. They're always misspaced. And the F smash? Jigs is a very light character. Almost killed. If Mike can get a good up air like that, not quite. Good DI from Puffin Blade. What can we do? Oh, good option coverage with the bomb. Air dodges through the nair, gets back to stage. Oh, I felt a parry rest there, but smart to not go for it because Mike didn't get KO'd properly, would have killed himself. Palpable Blade stalling out the invincibility on the ledge, but he's at 122. What can he do to bring this back? Goes for the pound. Who rates out the up smash? The up airs? Oh, and that up smash is gonna do it. The king bleeds. And Mike up 1 0 against Palpa Blade, one of the best players here. We'll have to see what character Palpy switches to next. Alright. Oh, the patented Palpy Pac Man. And as you know, Palpy Blade did win a first of 10 against Stoked, making him officially the best Pac Man in Utah, because apparently that's how that works. Ooh. Good coverage with the Hydrant. Oh, doesn't recatch the. Galaxian, the Galaga. Ooh, good down air from Mike. Bouncing off the Hydrant to avoid the grab. And Mike, just taking his time in this game. True, this is a quite intense speeder. We have not seen Pop play down against player in a long time who wasn't tomato. Ooh. Death smash. Probably has to air dodge through it. It's a quite close game. Good roll to avoid the bell. Good shields to not get baited into rolling again. Both players playing this extremely slow, which is very common for Pac-Man, but not very common with young players. The problem with doing that is that you let Pac-Man get his fruits. Then again, if you try to approach him, Pac-Man can punish your lag for hitting Hydrant. You don't know exactly. So Mike finding his options is sometimes quite difficult. Good parry, gets the Nair, doesn't get any of the follow-ups. Oh, and he catches the Galaga. Goes for the, the throw, but doesn't quite hit it. Accidental pause? But both. Alright. Looks like everything's fine. Oh, goes for the up tilt. Doesn't quite get it. That Bell F smash is so deadly. Oh, the reverse orange. Almost taking it. Good back throw for positioning. Mike jumping right. I believe it was. Um, I believe that was a uh, problem with the TV itself. I'm not sure though. Um, I'll be sure to look at the rule set next game. 
Ooh, goes for the raw key. I like it, but Mike was not near, so I don't like it. Mike with the dash attack. Hellblade Pac-Man easily gonna make that recovery. Ooh, good key through the hydrant. And the bell. Oh, the bell! He had to he had to do something there and Hellblade scouted out that roll and gets the S smash. Oh, we got Galaxian combos. Galaga combos. 68%. Oh, the up tilt sending the hydrant the wrong way! Oh, and Mike gets caught under the stage. Clean three stock from Hellblade. Oh, yo, what's up, Ogre B? You hate to see it. True, but honestly, I qu quite like Pumpelade's Pac-Man, if I do say it for myself. Ooh, the Mario Switch. I don't... And a DK? Pumpelade, this is a best of three, you know. You are the combo to food the character. Actually, no, if I think about this, it's quite smart because if Mike does clip him, it doesn't count. Because if you get a combo on Donkey Kong, it doesn't count. Ooh, good fair. Runs back, but runs back too far. It doesn't get the grab. It takes the ding dong for it. I like these B reverse down bees from Pablo Blade for a movement. Oh, catches him with the up smash. Oh, good flood. Probably it's just spacing those backers so Mike can't really approach off stage. Get back to stage. Then again, he's got quite a deficit. Oh, the down throw. Mike gonna make it back, but he gets caught out of his up B. Stock one goes to Palpy. Ooh, I like the up smash. Oh! Ambitious from Palpy. As Mike was at 0%. But Mike is struggling to get this stock. Unless you see one of those happen. Oh, yeah, let me change uh, probably some character. Alright, good up B from Mike. Up tilt. Dashes back looking for the grab. Doesn't quite get it. Good Nair. Oh, those backers are so deadly. I didn't say Diddy Kong, I said Donkey. Alright, here we go. Back air dash attack. Mike with a bear is his own. Tries to spot dodge with the grab, does, still gets caught. Oh, and Palby going for the big reads there. F smash from Mike. Oh. And the freaking you dingus. Alright. Good reverse 2 0 from Puff Blade. Also, alright. Okay, let me see if I can do something about that bracket command. Here, we got the one, the only, the arguably sexist player on campus, Mr. Daylin Day versus DDRM. We got a lot of controllers, apparently. I'll have to...
We'll have to finish that pausing thing next round, because I forgot about it. I'm not going to lie. Got the nest coming out from... From DDRM. And the patented Dale and Ken. Alright. Small battlefield as always. Joking to start off. Ken can quite struggle in this matchup since aerials... Nest areas are so huge and Ken doesn't have a lot of range. But Day has shown he's able to overcome ad adversity like this. Alright. Good roll to get past the ledge. Is that a shield break? No. Is that a stock? Not quite. Day's got quite a sexy can if I do so to myself, but DRM's knowledgeable in this matchup knows how to DI. Oh the down tilt to F smash. Ooh, Day going for these combos here. Wants one of that nair to down air. Ooh, good sure you threw the stage to avoid even having to mess with the yo-yo. Alright, there. Doesn't get the uh, jab. Oh! I'm not sure if Day was going... was intentionally getting hit by that. Try and gimp here him, because when you do get hit by it, the up goes half as far. Oh, for a second I thought Day got gimped by the PK fire. But he's still living. It's in there. Alright. Alright. Ooh, ambitious Tatsu, but worked out almost for him. And then they're gonna take the stock. DDRM in the lead now. Ooh, but the up airs. They looking for that down tilt to assure you, but not quite finding it. Doesn't quite get past the yo yo. Oh, but the jab roundhouse is gonna take the stock. This is quite. This isn't too much of a comeback, but... Nass is known for being able to kill. If Day doesn't get some big damage soon, I'm he's gonna be in for it. The down air jab, Crescent. Miss the nair. Gets the up air to shore you. Not quite it. Oh, but that dash attack, such range. Good. Oh. And he lives. Oh, oh, the mix-up. Oh my gosh, that was sick. All right, game one goes to Day with that insane funny punch to down smash to roundhouse. We'll have to see how these players adapt. So I doubt we'll see a char any character switches unless Day wants to style, you know, but... Very possible. Oh, okay. Sorry, I gotta go, boys. What's up, Stocks? Sorry, I have to play.
Hello chat, Coiler's back. And guess who just went 0 2 in tournament? Because he's a stupid head, me. Ah! It's fine, it's fine. I'm totally not salty. Um, let's see. Okay, we got Byleth and Sephiroth? Palpy plays Byleth? At least he plays the best skin. Yo, wait, where's the Sephiroth? And update. All right, let's get into the match. Take off to a strong lead. And the spot dodge up tilt to take the stock. Now what Palfi told me earlier is that he's going basically any character he wants to today because there's no money involved. And while I understand he is getting a bit cocky, Pig going for the two frame with the Octo Slash. Good option, except I would argue against Byleth with her Tevilic recovery. Oh, good Uppy to get back center stage. Palby's just looking lost. Clearly does not know Byleth as well as Pig does. All right, turns up the neutral beat. Ooh, gets a down smash. And Sephiroth, extremely light, could potentially Kill him early, but you have to land those strong hits. And Palpy's kind of looking lost right now. Get up through the arrow. Gets the F smash, but the sour spot. Oh, and the Uppy's gonna take the stock. Sephiroth can be so scary with these options at ledge. You either have a huge Uppy that deal 40, 30%, or you have one that goes straight to ledge. Ooh, tries to read the air dodge. The side B, but doesn't get it. And another up B. Palpable Blade looking lost. Are we going to see a three star from Pig? Commentator's curse. Oh! The up B does it. And that's a clean three star from Pig. Wow. We'll have to see what characters changes are happening next round. I do expect to see the Pac Man from Palpable Blade. But. You never know. Switching to PS2, this is a great Pac-Man stage. So are we seeing a Pac-Man? We are. And Pig switching to the Byleth. See how this match goes. Pac-Man can struggle with the swords at times, but obviously when you have a character that's significantly better than the others, you can do things like this. Wow, what a clean stock from Palpy. Gets another Galaga combo. Doesn't re get the recatch, so not much damage. Fair trade. Oh, the jab locking to down smash. The cherry throw goes for the dare. Doesn't quite get it. The back throw. Ooh, and the belt. Good catch from Pig. But doesn't get the sweet spot of the F smash. We'll have to see what he's gonna do about this. Probably it's kind of running around doing whatever he wants. Good Nair. Oh, the belt F smash doesn't quite take the stock. Ooh, good hydrant setup. Wow, but Pig managed to escape that situation with the dash attack. I have to see what he can do. Good bell catch from Pig, but gets caught by the side B, forced to drop it. Goes for the down smash, but not enough and cups an F smash. Hellblade up three stocks to one and gets the Galaga combo for 61%. This is not looking good for Pig. Oh, the roll. We saw this with 
earlier with Health Blade versus um what's his face? Porter. Or Mike, sorry, Mike. Alright. Pig just looking desperate to get a stock and gets it with that up smash up air. I the stream lagged, but I just heard the sound effect. <laughs> Oh, but the bell to the side B takes him off the stock top. All right, we got one one clean round three. All right. Ooh, and a switch back to the Sephiroth from Pig. Right. We'll have to see what both these characters can do. Ooh, the parry to the counter, 43%. The back there. Back throw, back air. Gets the fully charged neutral beat, but Impactment doesn't quite get that ledge snap. Ooh, goes for the. Oh, goes for the spike, mistimes it. Oh, and another Calico combo. Gets out of it, though. Very nice. Takes the orange. Still a sizable lead for Pig. Palp Blade, you know. Pac Man is an explosive character that can do 60% in one combo. But the reverse up, you're gonna take that first stock. More technical difficulties with the TV? I didn't touch anything. Oh my gosh. More technical difficulties, Pog. Am I right? Oh, what? What was he going for? I like it, but it didn't quite get the stock off. I hope he's yet to take percent for going for that. Oh, gets the back air. It goes for that counter again. So hard to punish Sephiroth's counter. Tries to spot dodge the grab. Can't really do that against Pac-Man. Goes deep for that down air. Takes the stock back. And all of a sudden, it's basically even. This one, this Hydrant is proving to be such a force for Pig to get through. Ooh. Oh, goes for the Galaga into the Hydra, tries to get something cheeky off of that. Ooh, fully charged neutral B. Palpy doesn't quite get off the ledge unscathed. Takes the up smash. Oh! Just dodges the Hydra there. Oh, he was fiending for that roll in, but Pig Smart Player doesn't go for it. Clank with the Hydrant to avoid getting hit by it. And only part of the up B needed to kill the Hydrant. So it's a good trap for Palpy. Ooh. Oh! The Nair to F smack gonna take the stock. Dash attack from Pig, but he can't quite contest Pac-Man at that range off stage. Gets the following up air. Oh, but can't up be that Hydrant when Pac-Man has key like that. Good F tilt. Stuffs out the dash attack. Going for these neutral Bs. Get takes the bell F smash. Game was starting off so good for Pig, but he's having trouble finding his footing. Oh, but the back air? Wow, the sour spot's still gonna take it. Ooh. The apple into the hydrant, gang. Good trap, but they're rolling right out of there. It's a 
this a possible comeback? Definitely. But he's so intimidating going against this Pac-Man. Times the back air so he doesn't get countered. Oh, beautiful tech for Pig. It gets the up B. Oh, what a parry! The back throw, not quite gonna do it. Sephiroth do be light though. Oh, and you hate to see it happen with the up B. Palmerplay takes that set 2-1. So what's up, chat? I know you're not here, but what's up? I am eliminated, because I'm so smart. I meant to stop right ahead of where you were going, but... Ah, dang it. All right, chat. <sighs> Who's next on stream? I believe it is Day of Palpablade. It would be pretty hype, not gonna lie. Day, canonically the sexiest player alive, and palpably the coolest Pac-Man player canonically alive. Bruh, I wish there were chat here. Uh, Day! Are you coming? Alright. Day's taking his sweet time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Hang on.
All right. Classic small battlefield to start. Oh, oh! The Palpy Rosa! She has white on. Okay. We'll have to see how this match goes. Oh! Oh! Good start from Day. But that jab on shield ain't gonna be safe. Nazi's back to ledge, but there's gonna be such a scary ledge trapper. The roll behind up tilt jab, sure you. But classic from Ted. Take the stock. Alright, Tatsu back. Get these combos started with down tilt, but it keeps whiffing them. But as long as Day's still keeping this lead and still doing some damage, it's not too much of a problem. It's the jab, press it. It's the up air, but gets the down show you again. Help you down to stock. F tilt. Day just playing with him in this game. It's the Nair up there. I classic only with Rosa, but I'll be struggling to find this stock. Oh, but the up smash out of shield gonna do it. We'll have to see how the adapt to try to take the rest of the game. Gets the fair chain? Oh, doesn't get the back here, doesn't get the edge guard. Ooh, the jab roundhouse. I'll be at 103. You gotta be scared against this Ken, but he gets the back throw. Gotta go for the edge guard. Good Nair. Uh, doesn't get anything else out, though. Ooh. Roundhouse can be so scary on shield. Good down smash. Alright, both clears. Recover. Suffers. And the up smash gonna take the stock again. But the but the reverse for you. I admire the effort, but there was no way that comeback was happening. Day up 1-0 against the Palpy Rosa. Alright, we'll see have to see if e if both characters switch both excuse me both players switch characters we see the classic Pac-Man on F on PS2 Palpy you know kind of kind of good depends on who you ask with his Pac-Man kind of snazzy but Day is showing people how to play this matchup. You get in there and you smack Pac-Man in the face. You don't let him charge up that, those fruits. Oh, good roll through the Hydrant. Good back air from Day, but like... Gets the Strawberry. Oh, what a... What spacing to outrange that grab. And then get the down tilt into the roundhouse with the stock. Ooh, Palpy going for his favorite combo with the Galaga into the side B. Oh, Day doesn't get the tech, get drops the up smash. Tatsu. Oh, the grab trades with the Nair. Down throw fair off the ledge. Can't contest Pac Man like that though. Pop in the down air. Day. Oh, barely makes it back. Ooh, goes for the shield break, but 
Happy good player knows how to let go. What a fruit launch, but Day doesn't even jump into it. Oh no! You hate to see it happen. Miss it, put SD. Alright, but Palpy with his favorite fruit now. Only gets 10% off of it. I'm guessing the hydrant messed him up a little bit there. Good fair. Up bears to cover. He's recovering. Oh, but the shield break! And just pushes off the edge into the taunt. Days up quite, got quite a lead right now, but... Palpy can get one of those gifts. Oh, he had his jump still. Such good conversions from Day. Watch his back to center stage. Ooh, what a fair. Players just trying to find these kills. Oh, but the water push is going to mess up that conversion. Super unfortunate. That takes stock. And remember, this is winner's finals. This is the best of five. Probably can still bring this back. Just needs to find his footing. Are we going to see a stage twitch? switch? Small battlefield again. Day staying with the can. Probably gonna try the Rosa again. Ooh, the Dark Samus. This can't be quite a difficult matchup for FGC characters. As you may have seen me struggle. But I don't know about this. The dash tag on the platform, probably a miss input there. 20 punch is not bad. No, it is definitely still Day's favorite way to win Grand. I don't know if it was last week, but he was against Pig, and he went Ken Game 3 just to get the funny punch. And the world was a brighter place because of it, you'll agree. But back to the match. Starting off fairly even. Day really can't mess with the Samus recovery. And those stairs are... What a call-out! As I was saying, those stairs are so, so difficult for Ken to deal with, but... You can still get those jump reads and sure you and kill very early. Who doesn't get the second part of Roundhouse gets punished for it. Only enough till not too bad. Oh... Be out of shield. I'll be out of shield again. <laughs> I'll be sure to tell Day you said that would be. After this game. Ooh, good parry. Doesn't quite get any conversion off of it, but it sounded cool. Up there, sure you. Not quite taking it. I'll be really exploiting the fact that they can't edge guard him. Taking his time off stage to charge up his Just Fair off the ledge. Day with the double, sure you. The triple. Oh, but takes the up airs, but doesn't get the up B. Cops an up smash for it, but doesn't quite kill for him at. And as you can see, they go for the funny punch kill. Misses to go to the up smash instead. Ooh, can't quite air dodge through that dog. It's traveled so far. Ooh, the down smash to the ground house. Down air. Another 
up B from Palpy. This is a very good option, but... I don't know if it's good enough to take back a stock lead. Can't kind off of stage. He goes for the jump lead, but doesn't quite get it. And the jab show you taking it again. Day with the clean 3-0 takes winner's finals. We're straight into another set. All right. Let me switch this up. Got Pig versus DRM. Let's see, what round is this? This is Losers. Losers Semis? Alright. Is this also a best of three? Okay. Sorry, best of is, this is best of three, not best of five. Okay. All right. Ooh, DRM with the wolf. As we know, Ness can struggle with these sword characters that um, that Pig loves to play. I missed something. Why is DRM at two stocks? All right, whatever. Violet Hog, indeed. All right. You're struggling to get back into stage. That's it. He gets the back throw. Goes through the down smash, but it's so hard to get on those 10 recoveries. Goes through the down smash of his own pig does. Ooh, what a back end recover. Ooh, poorly fade space fair. Takes the grab with the back throw for it. Yeron's just fiending for these backers from the kill, but takes the F smash. Sorry, the F tilts from that side B. We'll have to see what he can do to bring his back. Dash attack. It's so hard to edge guard Byleth with that up B in the up air. Stuff out anything you try to do. Ooh, air dodge back to stage. Catch the grab for it. Pig relentless with this ledge trap pressure. Gets the Nair doesn't get the grab though. He's back off stage. And that F tilt finally gonna take the stock, but oh poorly advised down the lead. Only takes 35 from it though. Another F throw into up air. Oh, go see the F smash. I don't know about that one. Ooh, good roll away. And the down smash times it on the neutral getup. And we're back to last stock. Much closer than it was a couple of stocks ago, believe it or not. Goes for the dash back forward smash. Doesn't get the roll in with it though. It's back off stage because of the good air dodge up to get out to the platform. It's the F tilt. Goes for the down smash, still missing, but doesn't get punished for it. F tilt. Goes for the. Oh! This time's the F smash. 
on the neutral getup and gets up smashed for it. And Violet Pog is taking game one. Alright. We'll have to see what adaptions both these players make. We're going to Battlefield. If I had to guess, I would say no character switches, but it's always a possibility. Alright, as I expected. Battlefield seems like a decent stage for Wolf, but it would also be a decent stage for Violet, because if she gets that up B on top flat, you can get insanely early stocks. Oh, Harry misses the up B. Here I'm just running around using his superior mobility to try to out movement violent. It's been working out for him. It's the up tilt to the up B. Well, up air. It's the up B. Oh, I don't know about that smash chief. Ooh, but the back air. And the laser. Violet still has his jump. Pig still saves his jumps. Still makes it back. Alright, the nair. The up air through the stage. Help Pig get back. Loving these air dodges back to platform from DRM. Dash attack setting straight up. Ooh, but Miss Space is the F tilt. Takes the F smash. Oh, but it's the grab. That back throw not gonna quite kill. Oh, but the off smash barely missing. Gets that laser off stage. Pig got a nice, healthy 178. And he smash attack. And most of the aerials will kill like that in the air. Stockwell goes to DRM. However, he is not in as big of a lead as Pig was last game. However, he is seeming to figuring out this Byleth. Oh, but that there's so tricky with the landing hitbox. Dodge the arrow, though. Up he's back to ledge, but catches the jump with the back air. And one good combo like this, and we're back to even. Wow, 42%. Drop through plat up air, good good options. Good F tilt gets positioning. And the down smash covering the roll. Ooh, but the get up attack straight through that. He's not dealing with that right now. Good jump to stall out the down air, or the down smash. And the stock is looking very even. Ooh, reaches the up smash, but doesn't quite get punished for it. Do that F tilt. Here I'm so Both these players seeming very good at getting these the other player out of stage. But neither of them being able to find this ledge trap. It's another F tilt, Violet's back off stage. Ooh, but Pig goes for the tricky movement. Air dodges through that dash attack back in center stage, but the dash attack. Oh, beautifully spaced F tilt. It tries to punish with it. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh that wolf's life just flashed before my eyes. That down smash is so terrifying. Unfortunately, he dodges it, gets the nair out of the parry. All right. Violet back off stage. Ooh, good parry into the up smash. Alright. Okay, gets a nice F tilt. The RM still at 0%. Ooh, the F tilt out of the side B, is that it? No, he has his jump. Parry 
everybody go this is that back air this in there and the crab it's off stage goes for it interesting down air. oh good awareness from here after roll away Violet off stage. You can find this ledge trap. This could be the stock. Oh, it doesn't quite get it. Takes that back air. And now he's the one being pressured off stage. Ooh, he land on the platform to get out of that situation. But what can we do? Oh, and the dash attack. Gonna send straight up. Game two going to DDRM. We'll have to see what stage are we going to next. Princess Peach's castle? Okay, dear, I'm getting Smash on the oceans. Going to FD. Stop battle! Marla. No character switches. I was thinking this might be a really good stage for Sephiroth, but I'm liking how the pilot is working out. We'll just have to... Alright. Game 3, baby. We are against the first grab. Oh! Take with the second, but misses the down air. There. That's still not safe cakes. Another upbeat. Ooh, but the double hit of the laser. Oh. They run straight behind that ass smash. Ooh, the beautiful down smash to cover the roll. Oh, good dash back F tilt to that space. Uh, whatever pilot is going to do there. In this case, the down air. Both characters too afraid to commit to something risky. Playing extremely safe. Ooh, what an up smash, but doesn't. Not quite unsafe enough to get that bad smash out of it. And then dash attack was sent out this time. Take the stock. Right. Here I'm just trying to keep this lead, not trying to lose the stock. Ooh, doesn't get the tech on the air, but rolls beautifully to get avoid that F smash. Here I'm back off stage. He doesn't have an air touch. He doesn't have a platform to air touch to this game. We'll have to see what he does about this. Beautiful. Waiting out. Calls out the jump with the back air up to up three stocks to one. What do you do about this? this is big. Some big combos coming out. Side be straight over all of that nonsense. Ooh, the up be straight. This is the ledge, but it doesn't quite get punished. Back throw. Oh, what a charge of the F smash. Okay. Ram still got quite a lead, but Lila can't make these comebacks. Never out of it. Sure. Get this ledge pressure down. The lasers and the nares. And the up smash? Not gonna take it yet. What's he gonna do? Ooh, beautiful cross up that nair. Doesn't get the roll in. You're a smart player, no one really loves those roll in moves. Oh, and the, uh, the dash attack sending out again. Here takes the set. We oh, a lot of
But now we have the return of the king. Finals. We'll have to see. We got another best of five set. Here I'm starting with that Ness of his. Ooh, and the Rosa. out for him in tournament too well. Oh, uh, as you can see, uh, Palpable forgot to change his name, so he had the wrong controls. But, dear, I'm being a good sport and letting him run it back. for that air dodge. And the, the ratchet death stance of Smash coming from a Rosa of all characters. All right. Down the up smash, excuse me, to take the stock. And the combo starter with the PK flash? Wow. He's so good at just getting he's so good at spacing those aerials so that they're safe from chain grabs. Help up being straight to the other side. Does not want to try to deal with getting off the ledge gets Ness. PK fired in air, Palpy's in a bad spot and doesn't get the recovery. Game one going to DDRM. Alright, are we going to see the Palpy Classic? I'm not going to say it out loud because the, the players are right here. But, like, if you know, you know. Yeah. So game two to PS2. There it is. PS2 into the pack, God. Three, two, one, All right. Go. Game two. I'll be getting 
strength that starts to open so. The Galaga doesn't get the recapture to be fair, but still even percents right now. Oh, beautiful recatch with the dash attack. Say again? Oh, it's uh, it's one zero. Yeah, you can see right here. All right, still pretty even. Ooh, Palpy going for the up smash out of shield, but here I'm with that drift back. Oh, but comes the hydrant. Ooh, goes tries to up smash the hydrant, but gets the water instead. But then. Destroys the hydrant to help you take lose his stock for it. Oh, what a dash stance! So intimidating. Oh, but the bell to up smash this time. Good mix up. Help you with his favorite fruit. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, but Giram knows knows what Palpy can do with that Galaga. Run away. Still takes an apple. Hydrant set up. Wow. Oh, the recatch. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? 82%. I'll be straight out of that PK fire. Oh, but the down smash, the up smash, excuse me, the Yozio. Not sure why Palpy died to there, to be completely honest, but. Here, I'm in the lead. Grabs the bell. Oh, goes for the dash attack out of it, but the bell messing it up there. Recatch the orange. Catch. Gets the kill with the apple. Here to send Gira straight up. Ooh. Ooh, the F smash. Good patience from Palpy to avoid that PK flash, but has a little bit of a comeback to come. Palpy Pac-Man's Definitely a character capable of making this. Oh, but the back throw? And that's gonna be the stock. DRM's up 2 0. Ooh. Palpy with the. Oh, no music. Kind of pick. Going to the same character, same stage, running it back. Very understandable. It was quite close. Alright. On to see. Ooh, gets the apple into the fair into the apple. Oh! Good 61% to start off Palpy. Gets the jab because he knows that. Shields he'll get grabbed. Very smart. What a side beat to get away. But not far enough. Takes triple up air. Goes to the jump read with the nair misses. Sets up a hydrant, but you're on punishing with. Anyways, Palpy with that bell can be so scary, especially when you're at kill percent. Punishes that F smash. The bell F smash of his own. Oh! Oh no! Hiram goes just too far off stage and takes that. It's gotta be so intimidating to come back. 
here, but he's not out of it yet. Look for these magnet aerials to try to mix up his timing. Gets the Danner. Palpy knows what he can do with that. Just up he's straight out of there. He jumps. Galaga, but straight so he doesn't get the combo. Oh, and the back are gonna take the first take Palpy's first stock. The bell? Oh, to the up air to the catch. Oh, he misses the side B. Ah, oh, dear, I'm going for that PK rocket. Respect, but gonna take the punish for it. Takes a key. A trap. Yurem shields. Doesn't know what to do here. Oh, in the back throw? Gonna take the stock. Palpy takes the game. See what stage counter pick DRM goes for, or if he runs it back to PS2, seeing as he took the first game. Ooh, Town and City. Interesting. Same characters. I'm off to a little bit of a lead right here, but he's been playing extremely well this tournament, but I'll have to see bring this back. He can not get first three out Ooh, the Galaga is still gonna take Tries to read the pair the roll in, but he's a smart player. PK fire and the hydrant, but Palpy's just fine to chill out and get these fruits. The bell to up smash gonna take first stock. Gets his Galaga. Oh, only 39%. I can't believe I'm saying that. Oh, smart to drift out and up and avoid that yo yo. Oh, but gets caught by that up air. Back to even stocks. Ooh, the fair into the Galaga. Misses the Galaga, but doesn't. Oh, I don't have pressure yet. Disengages, gets that bell. Oh! Oh, and misses the side B. Catches the key. Doesn't want to make. Doesn't want to mess up any of his conversions. So just throws it away. Oh, he goes to the up air out of the side gate, but just too early and loses the stock for it. Unfortunate. Help he gets caught by that PK Thunder or Fire. Oh, and the yo-yo. Packing in with his side B back. Just recovers high. Very smart to just avoid that altogether. Alright, Bell catches with the fair to destroy the hydrant. What we do here is DRM. Ooh, gets the grab. Oh. Yep, that's gonna do it. That PK rocket's just so strong. Palpy's just playing this slow, getting his fruits. Alright, here I'm with the combos with the fair chain. Gets the umpy. Oh! Oh my gosh, they're both alive. That was such a scary situation. Okay, the 
in there, it destroys the hydrant. I'll be smart, just shield in there. Oh. The key on top of the hydrant instantly breaking. Oh! The Becker, he's alive! Oh no! Unfortunate. It's now 2-2. Two, two. Running back to save stage, picking something else. Same stage. I respect it because that game was very close. This is a good stage for this. Alrighty. Game five. Apple. Oh, it doesn't get the second apple though. He's not on, spawned on the platform. I'll be off a good start. These hydrants are paying dividends for him. There's another one. That can be such a good tool with your Pac Man. Ooh, uses the platform to charge roots. I like it, but he's now getting juggled by that PK Thunder. Pac Man's not got a lot of great options for landing out of that. Oh, barely spaces that up correctly. Doesn't pop that. Yo yo. All of a sudden, this game is very even. Palpy off stage. He goes through the PK flash, but takes the orange. Palpy's not having any of that. The neutral get up right after the PK fire. Oh my gosh. No, he falls out of the up smash. Charged it just too long. Palpy's taking that back here. But the Bell up smash is going to take the stock. He's only down 13%. Both players just trying to catch each other, but they're both so fast in the air. It's so, Ooh. Galaga, so scary to play against, but All right, I'll be off stage. Makes the jump. Hydrates so get down against that PK Thunder. Hero keeps going for these F smashes, but so often they're getting stuffed out by the water. Another Hydrant. Just gets behind it, lets the fruit push him back, gets the key. Gets another key. Orange. Recatches. The downer is going to take it. Right, DRM potentially on his last stock of the tournament. Oh, goes for the big Galaga combo. Doesn't quite get it though, but DRM's still at 64. Oh, gets the bounce right. No, the, the trampoline. And Palfi takes it with the first three O's. Very clean stuff from both players. But now, can that Pac Man It's time for grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. Can that Pac Man keep him afloat against the canonically sexiest player alive? Whatever, babe. <laughs> 
I could have a crush on somebody else. All right, we're starting off with mage. Oh yeah, let me let me check that check mark. All right, good Zelda music on the small battlefield. Day can be very explosive with this Ken. As we can see here, a nice 72 to start. Good walk back, just trying to outspace things. Playing those footsies as a Street Fighter character would. But you all can't always be patient against this Pac-Man. Those fruits. Probably with the belt. Day catches it with the air dodge. Oh, but doesn't get it the right way. But the funny punch! If there was anybody in chat, we would all be popping off the funny punch. Oh, but clean edge guard from Palpy. Not sure what that forward smash was going to be. Gotta be honest. But the up tilt jab, sure you. Classic going to take that first stock. Nice B reverse. Oh, the water pushing him off with that Tatsu. That's so unfortunate. But Ken can't take these stocks early. He can't have these very long streaks. Not fair from Day. Trying to get around all of this shenanigans from Pac-Man. Ooh, doesn't time that roundhouse quite right. How do you able to get up through it? Down air? Oh, goes for the side beat to edge guard. Still has his jump, so respectable option. Doesn't get that last hit of down air. An air train with the grab. And that funny punch for the stock! Let's go! First hit on this stock. Double, double jab, pressing into that roundhouse. 66. This hydrant can be so hard to deal with, though, as a character that likes to stay grounded. Oh, but the up smash gonna take. Game one goes to Palpy. But hey, at least Day has the moral victory of getting funny punch. Where are we going, Gates? FD? Okay. Surprised that probably didn't ban this, but I guess he must like his stages. Alright. Game two, let's go. Rainbow Road. Go see instant Tatsu. It's double fared. Double double fair. Ooh, the Galaga? Oh, focuses through the combo. Very good there just for day. Oh, but he gets crossed up. Probably just taking his sweet time to charge up that fruit. Doesn't get the recatch on the belt though. Oh. Oh, and the bell to F smash. Palpy only at 39. They can't get that stock with a good read. Bear tries to get the edge of the bear, doesn't quite get it. F tilt to space on shield. I taught you to recover, but that can be very negative on him, especially in the air. Oh, Palpy goes for the roll and Reed gets it, but not quite the timing. Oh, Day wants that, why that focus. And another F smash from the Pac-Man. 
Okay, very capable of making these reverse three stocks. But, still quite a hill to climb. Because the downer gets the sour spot. And the funny punch! Let's go. Funny punch! Anyways. Ooh, Palpy's got that bell. Goes for the fair. It's just a recatch, though. Day's just trying to get back in this game, but it's so hard when you're down so much. Oh, the air dodge because of the bell. And oh, catches the roll in this time with the F smash. All right. We'll have to see if there's any adjustments from either player. But I think this can worked out for him very well game one. PS2. Interesting choice for Day. Sticks with the can. Sticks with the pack bit. Alright, game three. Last of set one. Palpy's very capable of getting this reset. The Alfair team. Dogen, I like that a lot. Oh, but the fair train starts. Oh, we missed the hut. Ooh. So much just happened. Dave's off stage. Palpy goes for the second fair. He misses it. Oh, but the F smash into Hydrant gonna take that first stop in less than 30 seconds. Oh, Palpy. Almost didn't recover because that trampoline by making the second hit. Anyways, Orange is out. Day gets that back air. Palpy just taking his sweet time off stage to charge up his fruits. Up to the Crescent. Probably gonna not shield that thing. Ooh, tries to spot dodge that Pac Man grab. Basically impossible. And the F smash. Day's on his last stock again. Oh, but the back air clean. First three stock is definitely possible. He's got to play very well. Ooh, the Nair to press it. Palpy very far off stage. Doesn't get that spike on the down air. Guessing because of the fruit there. Ooh, but days off stage without a jump. And he takes the ceiling. He's able to make it back. And that is a bracket reset for Help Blade. Starting with PS2, I don't know if that's a legal starter, but it's fine if both characters, both players, excuse me, agree to it. All right. Ooh, jumps over the apple. Dave's learned his lesson in the past couple of games. Ooh. Oh, he gets the heal off the pellet. Doesn't quite matter though. Day's just not finding these ledge traps against Pac Man. Still in the percent lead, but without being able to ledge trap, sometimes securing his stock is very difficult. Ooh, gets the jump read with the Shoryu, and that's death. The bell? Oh, the bell, the fair into the bell, but doesn't quite see that in time. Day's just fiending all of this extra credit. Day's 
you go through the downer, doesn't quite get it. It's so difficult against Ackman, who just recovers so low like that. Good show you early to get back to stage. Alright. And a clean edge guard from Palpy takes days for stock. But at 120%, it would be very scary as Pac Man. Oh no! Okay, good. Okay, good. Aimbot screwing over Ken somehow. It still gets that down to the roundhouse. Palpy down a full stock. Oh, but gets these apple combos. Oh my gosh, the trampoline putting Day in lag. Recatches the bell. Ooh. Ooh. Shield pressure from Day, not quite gonna get a break there. Some F smash off stage. Oh, Day sh sitting in shield. He knows that Palpy doesn't quite have a kill throw. Very close though. Oh, and the key snipe! Palpy's down, but he is certainly not out. Gage throws a hydrant. Okay, fair to up Dude, the situation. Palpy's just. Playing it slow, just hoping that Day will get patient so that he can punish it. Very nice down tilt, pressing. Oh, just out spaces to grab and to up smash, destroying the hydrate. By taking Palpy stock, game one of this second set goes today. Right, we're going to town and city. It's a very big stage. You can see Pac has a lot of room to play his game. Players adapt to the new stage. The cat apple catch. Ooh, the Shoryu. I'm not punished for it though. And the up B. Ooh, the jab up tilt. The up tilt jab, excuse me. It doesn't get that Shoryu follow up. Day still at quite a lead here. Oh, goes for his own gal. Uh, oh crap, what is it called? It reminds me of Galaga. Punish punching the hydrate. Very admirable strategy. And the double down tilt. Roundhouse gonna take first stock. Palpy just abusing that invincibility, charging fruit straight in front of Day. Oh, but. The bell. Jab. Roundhouse, good awareness from Day. Oh, but gets caught by the grab. Pac Man grab can be so active. Help is just using this ledge right here, this platform right here. Milking his lead. Well, he's trying to play it slow and catch up, I should say. Oh, it's not it. Palpy's down almost a full stock now. A hydrant. Oh, but the Tatsu. I don't know if that was intentional, but it was good movement on some platform. And the back air from Day gonna take second stock. Palpy's looking a little lost right now. Jump read. Ooh, uses the water to push himself off. I like it. Ooh, day stunt. But Palpy's too far away to do anything about it. 
Catch the orange with the back air into the orange snipe. Dalen Bleed. Day the sexy can bleeds. Fair goes for the fairs off stage. Doesn't snap the ledge, takes an F smash away. Good clean Ken conversions coming out for Day. Oh, I don't know about that down air. He's out of jumps, but makes it back, thankfully. Tries to assure you the hydrant doesn't break and then takes the S smash for it. Alpi's making this comeback. Good, good awareness from Day. Just jump and he can destroy you. Oh! What a cover! Comes to the neutral get up with the roundhouse and getting the super kick. Game 2 goes to Day. Day does not like it when he loses. Oh! Oh, shoot! Oh, trick! Palpy just took off his jacket or whatever. It's getting serious out here. Same characters. I'm, I, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot. I missed the stage. Was it PS2? Yeah, okay, it was PS2. Alright. Funny punch on the platform. I respect it. Apple just spending his sweet time off stage. Side B. The high Tatsu gets caught by that Hydra. They're gonna destroy it. Okay. Trying to get these conversions going. Not quite working out for them. But we are at basically even now. Has brought this back. Oh, but the downer trade gonna semi spike him. Okay, unable to recover. Wow. Help he gets a three hit. It's a 37% combo. Good. Awareness from Day. Tatsu straight over that F smash. Good awareness from Day. Oh, but the platform gonna mess him up again. Oh! What a combo, Jab. Crescent to up smash only works because of the water. But amazing awareness from Day there. And the jump ring with the show, you're gonna take the stock. I'll be potentially on his last dock of the tournament. So on the hydrant, gets the apple. Ooh, the hydrant has been down there. Good trap there. He gets the first hit of dare, doesn't quite give a day there. Alright. Sure you. the fruit launch with the strawberry the strawberry into the down air and that's gonna be day stock how do you make this happen this is his galaga combo his favorite thing Ooh, but the 
Apple bounce into the hydrant. I'm gonna break it. It takes quite far off stage. Probably doesn't get the edge guard, but you know, he has to recover himself. And all of a sudden, Palpy's in the lead. Sit behind that hydrant, gets the key, throws it, misses. Chucking out these aerials. Because any percent is good percent. Again, that trampoline can be such a good tool against certain matchups. Oh, what a parry from D the fruit launch! Goes for the side beat to set up the edge guard, but misses. Jay whiffs the Shoryu, and he bleeds. Game three, so Palpy played. Switch. Alright. Again, it's learning how to get around these early percent foods. The jab jab. Oh, but the nair. Helping nairs out of the combo. Smash on the plate, we can do it. Okay, gets around that down there. No, we know now how fatal that can be for Ken. Oh, but the lag on the strawberry. He focuses through the apple, but doesn't get that cancel dash. It's a high trip, but it takes 39 from the Galaga. Oh, the up air not sending the right way. Is that sure you? Now Palpy was running away with this lead. Oh! Oh! The smash attack can be so deadly. Water pushing the away so he doesn't hit the hydrant with that sure you, but. That down to the ground house. We're all good. Oh, the down smash. Ground house. I love that combo. The fall off. Up air into the up air. Sure, you. He's making up 10 combos, I swear. Jumps over the key. I'll be quite low, but you can't. Eat. It's so hard to time that two frame. F smash. The hydrant. And the lingering hitbox of the dare. The down smasher. No! Has to roll through that grab, but it lasts so long. And then because the, the roll input, he DIs the throw wrong and dies for it. Unfortunate, but we have game five in Great Finals. Anybody else hyped? No, because there's no viewers. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Cyan Blue Ken. I believe that's the only thing that went wrong in the last game is the color switch. Alright. 
Starting off pretty even. It's so hard to tell. Oh, Day tries to get back to avoid the Pac-Man grab or whatever. He gets caught by that gal Galaga. Ooh, catches the bell, but it clanks with the uh, air of it. Whatever Pac-Man air it is. Ooh, the parry on the hydrant focuses through the nair, gets back down to the ground. The dash attack. Palpy gets that bell. Oh, goes for the side beat. Misses. The down tilts into the shore. You're gonna take the stock. Shields the bell. It's the nair. Yeah. Jab, crescent, roundhouse. Funny punch! Goes through the F smash, probably waiting for some water to push Day into it. Ooh! And the F tilt. Crescent Palpy on his last dock of the tournament. What does he do? Oh, the belt of side B. We've seen him go for it so many times. Finally gets it. Alright, Palpy has little, quite a lead to get. Avoid the deficit. Happen this queen can do anything. Just avoiding getting that free charge. Ooh, the bell just misses. I'll be playing this stock so clean, but the F tilt near fair. Now trip three four. That S is gonna take day stock though. Both players on their last stock. This is a weekly, yes, stocks. This is grand finals. Last game, last stock. Oh, but the down smash! Oh gets the up tilts, doesn't get the conversion though. Come on, Day. Come on, Palpy. I'm not biased. to show you and we see the pop off from day canonically the best at smash brothers good games from both of both players day do you have any uh just anything to say to the people before i end the stream you have anything to say to the one viewer before we end the stream? You hear it, Stocks. Day loves you.